Hello everybody, um, Krabby here again, and I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to uh, use a preset GemFX settings that you got from a certain website or wherever. Uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a before and after. I just want to make sure this works, so I'm going to log in. I'm going to take a look, make sure everything looks good, how I normally have it. Alright, so my default settings, or my my settings I use, is I pretty much, I have a lot of sharpening on it. It's, you know, you can see the detail. I did this in my last video on how to install uh, GemFX. But, um... Yeah, this, you know, this is what I have. Very, uh, very sharp. Gets a lot of the, uh, blur off the screen. It's pretty what I like. But, for the purposes of this video, this is the baseline of what it looks like right now. So we're going to quit the game. Now, you want to download a preset. So a lot of people go to this website called... Uh, SweetFX Settings Database. It's right there. I'll, we'll have a link in the comment. And in the search, you type in Guild Wars 2. Right there. Click it. Now, on the right-hand side, you want to make sure, if you're using GemFX, you want to find anything that says GemFX right next to it. Now, I'll grab this one, Dreamy Lights, because I've tried this one before, and it's very different. The good thing about a lot of these presets is they'll actually tell you what to do to install it. Or, and they actually have differences, sweet effects on and off. Uh, this one's not working. Hmm. Oop. Yeah, comparisons on and off. Like the right hand side is on, the left hand side is off. But, let's download the preset. Okay. Now you're going to want to go to your computer, C drive. Uh, you're going to want to go to your Guild Wars 2 folder, bin. GemFX, you're going to want to go to Presets, and Current. Now, the current one is the settings that are already there. So, you're going to want to, I mean, if, just in case, you know, save it, put it somewhere else. Now, what you just downloaded, you're going to want to rename it. So, grab the name of the current preset you had, Control-C to copy it, select the new file, and then copy it. You got now. You have to make sure the file extension also changes, because this particular one was set as a, a text file. So these are your downloaded pre. This is your downloaded preset right here. You're just gonna drag it into the preset, the GemFX presets current folder right there. Now this is the new stuff. Now let's open up the configurator to see. And yeah, this I can, this is already different looking because I didn't have dirt lens on and I had other stuff turned. Okay, so just to make sure it works. Oh yeah, that looks weird. <laughs> Some people like certain things, others don't. Personally, I do not like this preset, but for the purposes of this video, I will deal with this. And yeah, you can tell how how different it all looks. It's really uh, like ambient lights, and it's it's darker but fuzzy. It's hard to describe. Everything look. I mean, you know, if you like this preset, you know, you go go right ahead. Personally, I do not like it. Um, but yeah, that is how you install a preset from anywhere you may download one. Um, I will be uploading my preset to the uh, SFX database, just if anybody wants it. And I will include a link to that down below. And I will include a link to the uh, Guild Wars 2 preset website. Well, um, just remember, bin, GemFX, presets, current, that's what you want to overwrite, and you want to rename the file to this. Exactly and copy it there. And you are good to go. Alright everybody, thank you for watching, and I will catch you later.